There's only a handful of people living in the small town of Whitman, Wisconsin. But every 4th of July, it swells to hundreds and has for more than 100 years. That's when local residents gather for an Independence Day celebration complete with a pageant, a parade, and plenty of home-cooked food. A long-time parade tradition is the seven-person living flag, an idea born as a skit in 1953. Norma Clavidacher is the only remaining member of the original flag, and today, two of her daughters carry on the family tradition. The story of the living flag has been told throughout the country in magazines and on TV, including this segment by Charles Corral in 1980. Here they come now, the Sauk County Extension Homemakers Chorus. Seven women in gowns they made themselves. Well, where can you buy gowns like that? Marching down the main street, the only street, of Whitwin, Wisconsin, 4th of July in a small town. You have no idea how much preparation goes into the 4th of July in a small town. For hours this week, the Salt County Extension Homemakers Chorus practiced in Norma Clavidatcher's side yard, worrying about staying in step, worrying about whether their stripes were straight. This may seem corny to you, but in dairy farm country where everybody grows up beside a cornfield, nobody is much embarrassed by corn. Don't look for Whitwin on the map. Raising the flag is a proud tradition in Wisconsin and throughout the United States. For retirees, for parade marshals, for marching bands everywhere, the red, white, and blue flies high. The living flag, however, holds special meaning. Its members singing patriotic songs cause children to salute, veterans to remove their hats, and spirits to swell with pride. In the fall of 2001, following events of the September 11th tragedy, the living flag became a living chorus. Here's a sampling of their patriotic singing during a celebration of hope and remembrance in Sauk City, Wisconsin. Thank you, Norma, and to the other living flag members who bring our country's colors to life in spirit and song. Oh. 